everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Star Divinity Tech TV. My news section of my show is going to be anything that I find interesting that's tech related. Uh, here's something I just found, and it's Mitsubishi's curved OE OLED screen. For people that don't know what OLED is, it's basically an organic version of an LED screen. It allows the screen to be curved, and it's much higher resolution than an LCD screen. The only problem with OLED right now is the short lifespan compelled, compared to LED screen. I'm just going to show the video here so you can see what it's like. As you can see, it's very crisp. It has a resolution of 1920 by 256 millimeters, and it has a radius of 917.15 millimeters with a pixel pitch of 3 millimeters. These screens are extremely have extremely high contrast, which makes them really good for shopping malls and passenger terminals. Uh, this has an 80 degree viewing angle regardless of whether it's horizontal or vertical and it will definitely wow anyone as it's wowed me. You'll probably be seeing these in the near future. Uh, this is currently a prototype but they should be coming out within a few years from now. Welcome everyone to my first tutorial on my first episode of Star Divinity Tech TV. Today's tutorial is going to be a very basic one. It's how to install a printer to your computer using Windows 7. Windows 7 is extremely smart so this shouldn't be too difficult. I just thought I'd throw this one out because I need to make a quick tutorial and I don't have a whole lot of time because I'm rendering video while I'm doing this. So to get started, any USB printer should be able to be detected automatically in Windows 7. Just plug it in, make sure your printer is turned on, and Windows 7 should auto detect the drivers and install them automatically. If it doesn't work, make most printers come with a CD with drivers. Make sure to install the drivers from the CD. Now if you have an older printer, such as a serial or parallel port printer, like I have an old dot matrix somewhere, this method won't work because it's not USB obviously. So what you're going to do is go to the start menu. You can either go control panel or devices and printers, but this is kind of a shortcut. So click devices and printers and you'll get a screen similar to this. Yours may not look exactly as mine because you can change how it looks. I think the I think it should look like this by default. You can just change that to however you like, just right here. To install a printer, just right click anywhere under printers and faxes and click add a printer. My computer's a little slower right now because I am rendering video, so bear with me here. If you don't have a USB printer, make sure to click Add a Local Printer here. And make sure you choose the correct port. These are for serial ports, these are for printer ports. If you don't know what port it's supposed to be on, then contact the manufacturer or the manual if you have it. Worst case scenario, just keep choosing them until your printer starts working. When you click Next, you'll get a list of all of Windows' drivers for different printers. So you just choose your printer. No, oh, sorry about that. and just click next and follow the next screens and it will install the OK. If you have a specific driver and it's not listed here you can click have disk and you can choose where the driver is located 
on your hard drive and it will install it then. If you have a wireless, some wireless printers don't automatically install. And if that happens, all you have to do is click Add a Network, Wireless or Bluetooth Printer, and it should pop up here. If not, you just follow the screens. That You just click right here, sorry. The printer that I want isn't listed, and follow the on-screen instructions. And you should be able to get it just fine. Okay, thanks a lot, and now for the next part.